One woman from Jai in her 60s found success as a champion powerlifter after a regular workout routine was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. When she could no longer go for morning swims, Li Tai Wei decided to give weightlifting a try under the encouragement of her son. Unexpectedly, the gym's owner told her she should compete, and to her surprise, she won the very first competition she entered. Now this university lecturer has found a new sense of pride as Taiwan's strongest grandma. Let's hear from Lee and those touched by her success. Lee Tsai Wei from Chinese Taipei. This is a master three lifter. In 2022, powerlifter Lee Tsai Wei represented Taiwan at the Asian Women's Classic Powerlifting Championships in Dubai. Lee deadlifted 115 kilograms in the Masters 3 competition. Go, 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 yes, go, go. Wow. Wow, this is a good lift. Three white lights, it's wonderful. Lee's performance at the event broke the record for women aged 60 to 69 in the 69 kilogram deadlift category. Very easy. And the lift is good, two to one. Lee also won four consecutive gold medals with a squat lift of 100 kilograms, a bench lift of 50 kilograms, and a total lift of 265 kilograms. When the flag anthem played, I was nearly brought to tears. There was an Indian athlete standing next to me. India has a population of 1.3 billion people, and Taiwan has 23 million people. And she had to stand there next to me, listening to our national anthem. The night of the competition, Lee was invited for an interview with FTV reporters, which surprised her. Although she had just won gold, she still saw herself as just a regular person. I was surprised by the media attention and that I would become Taiwan's strongest grandma. Back in Taiwan, Li lectures at National Jiayi University, where she teaches courses on human rights and law. The course material is very serious in nature, but she enjoys sharing her stories about her life with her students. I was quite surprised at first. What I remember most is that the seats in the classroom were quite tall, and it took her a while to climb up onto her seat. Then after she sat down, she told us that she's a power lifter on the national team. When I heard that, I was very surprised. It's a great contrast to what you would imagine. I thought if someone is an athlete, they should appear very strong and be all muscles. However, Mrs. Lee is not quite like that. Lee is below average height at 148.5 centimeters and is not particularly muscular, but her strength and accomplishments have gained her the admiration of many. Lee has been powerlifting for only around three years, but she has engaged in regular exercise for the past 20 years, always going for morning swims. Lee's foundation in daily exercise helped lay the groundwork for her training as a power lifter. The encouragement of her family also helped give her the strength to persevere. I swam in the mornings like that for just over 20 years, and then the pool was forced to close due to a lack of patrons. I switched to a new gym, but its pool was too small, and there were always too many people there. I couldn't get used to it, complained about it to my son, and he said, Mom, the pool has a gym. He suggested I use the gym to do weightlifting exercises. Older adults need muscle strength. If she can improve her muscle strength, then when she gets older, she won't need to use a wheelchair. She'll be able to live normally. Good health is the starting point for getting there.
At first, just wanting his mother to exercise her muscles to stay mobile as she gets older, young Meng Yi never imagined this would be the first step to her taking the international stage in competition. Young, who obtained personal trainer certification in 2020 from the American Council on Exercise, turned out to be the best person to help Lee with her training. He taught me to exercise with the equipment in the gym. He held a class for me and told me to train with the lat pull-down machine for 90 minutes per day. He didn't train me with the free weights at first because doing so could have resulted in injury. After nearly half a year of weight training, Yang began training his mother for the three parts of powerlifting, squats, bench presses, and deadlifts. Lee had initially started weight training to strengthen her body, but the words of the gym owner convinced her to start off on her journey in powerlifting. She told me to register for a competition. I said, really? I'm just here exercising. She said I could do it. She said that she rarely sees someone my age at the gym and that some younger people getting started with weightlifting can't lift as much as I can. She always encouraged me. Around that time, there was a competition in Tainan. My son said to me, okay, let's go compete just for fun. To her surprise, in her first competition in September 2020, Lee broke a record. From there, she went on to compete in regional and youth competitions, performing well each time. As a bonus, Lee also found her health markedly improving. <laughs> Playing with her granddaughter, Lee recalls her own childhood. When she was four years old, Lee went looking for her mother one morning after waking up and fell down a flight of stairs. The accident caused severe head trauma and left Lee with recurring headaches throughout her life. I'm not sure why, but it seems that after I had been weight training for a while, after it became part of my daily routine, my headaches cleared up. It really surprised me. Seeing the impact of weightlifting on her life and her health, Lee set her sights on the national team. Unfortunately, the pandemic put a kink in her plans, causing gyms to close their doors on several occasions. However, Lee found a way to keep up her training routine. Halfway through the pandemic, I couldn't go to the gym anymore. My younger brother had a restaurant that he closed and had converted into a games room. There was a small space in there he let me use, and my son brought me some simple gym equipment to put in there. After a year of training in her new personal gym, Lee gave an outstanding performance at the national team qualifiers in July 2022, going on to represent Taiwan at the Asian Women's Classic Powerlifting Championships in Dubai. However, the road to victory was not an easy one for Lee. With just one day to go before the competition, she suddenly experienced pain in her knees. It scared me to death. The pain was so bad, it woke me up in the middle of the night. I had never experienced something like that before. However, I was afraid to wake up my son. The next day, the pain was unbearable, truly unbearable. But I didn't want to take any painkillers because I knew there would be a drug test. She didn't tell me until the next morning, and then I hurriedly assessed the situation. I decided everything was still okay. I guessed that she may have walked too much at the airport and this put a lot of wear on her knees. Very easy. Perhaps due to her hurt knees, Lee failed to squat low enough during the squat lift segment of the competition, causing the judge to give her the red light. However, on the subsequent two lifts, Lee was successful and ended the competition bringing home gold for Taiwan. The 
就看到妈妈站在最高的那个台子上面。Seeing my mom up there on the highest podium, I felt that all the hard work was worth it. Young once had his own aspirations of entering competition. However, he was forced to abandon those plans after the birth of his child. Seeing his mom compete left him with a sense of gratitude that she could take his place on the podium. I told my son that it was something I dreamt about but never imagined would happen. Don't even call it a dream. It was a fantasy, but not something I expected. Today, everyone is happy for me having achieved it. On the road to athletic achievement, Lee turned her struggle into strength, using her hard work in the gym to bring her happiness and rejuvenation.